So I am here today to speak about comments that were made on social media by Orlando police officers on August 19th. On August 19th, uh, Officer Sean Dunlap, who's here today, uh, made racially charged comments calling out Colin Kaepernick, calling out other professional athletes who support social, who support standing up for social justice uh, for African Americans and people of color. Um, went as far as to tell um, LeBron James to take off his I Can't Breathe shirt, which was represented for uh, Eric Garner, who was killed by uh, the hands of law enforcement and NYPD. <clears throat> he told him to take off his shirt, that shirt, and put on an I Support the Police shirt, which is extremely problematic, because what that does is create, a, create more division and a divide within our community that you can't support the police and stand up for injustice within uh, for uh, African Americans who are disproportionately killed by uh, law enforcement who are unarmed. During that post, uh, racially charged post, the post, Officer Robert Shellhorn chimed in. And Officer Shellhorn took it to a whole nother level when he decided to call black people savages, useless savages. He also uh, classified um, uh, Amanda, Hay uh, not Amanda, Heather Hayer, who was killed in Charlottesville. He also classified her as an asshole. He also made comments publicly on social media that we live in 2017, everything is deemed racist, and we live in a society of pussies. So uh, myself, I have uh, filed an internal in uh, investigation complaint. I have met with Chief Mina about these comments. Um, the community as a whole has been outraged the media has not tried to cover this story in its totality. They have omitted the officers' names. They have omitted that, they, that Officer Shellhorn has called black people useless savages, um, what he calls civil rights as black rights. Um, so I'm here today to talk about police accountability across the board. Um, we can't have officers who already look at African Americans, people of color, even Shellhorn, who also used the term libtard, which is a combination between liberals and retards, as classifying uh, people within our community. If you already are looking through the prism of prejudice for liberals, for people with disabilities, for people of color, you can't serve in this community. That is a public safety issue. Chief Mina has since, after only a social media push, Chief Mina has put Officer Shellhorn on desk duty. However, Sean Dunlap, who is here today, he's not being internally investigated. He is the fraternal order president, union president, or president, who is extremely influential. And so if you can allow an officer to have to use your platform to spew hatred and division within our community and not admonish that officer and to become silent and not publicly denounce his comments, you are just as part, you are just as part of the problem, in my estimation. Mm -hmm. So what is your sense about what you really want to see happen in that case? Well, I think it's a public safety issue and both officers need to be removed. You can't have a prejudice or a bias uh, in a number one tourist attraction city in the world, which is Orlando, Florida, uh, where you're calling um, people libtards, which is a cross between liberals and, and uh, retardation, which is mocking people with disabilities. You can't call black people useless savages. You can't um, have, be divisive when it comes to social justice, fighting for social justice and whether or not you want to support the police. Uh, you can't uh, call people who are fighting for civil rights, or call it black rights. And you also uh, can't have uh, someone who is fighting against white supremacy with his, I believe, Heather Hayer, um, you call her an asshole. So we can't have that type of rhetoric, that type of white supremacist ideology within our law enforcement because uh, it's like poison and it's spread. So in order for us to uh, eradicate that, both officers with this ideology it has to be, uh, a tone needs to be set and their removal is what we're seeking. And you said you've already discussed this with Chief Mina? Yes, I've had a conversation with Chief Mina, and uh, because of the social media push by several organizations, uh, and myself, um, 
Officer Shellhorn was placed on desk duty, but uh, Sean Dunlap is still not under investigation. Um, but Chief Mita doesn't get full credit for a late, a late turned in assignment. The, we are dealing with a situation where our public safety wasn't taken into account. This could have been a traffic stop. And like I stated before, Chief Mita says when an officer puts on his uniform, he is an, he is an officer on, there is no off duty, okay? Um, he is an officer all the time. So these officers could have said this at a traffic stop. They could have had put someone's life in danger um, with their bias 